everyone and welcome back to my channel i am so glad that you guys came over to see this grocery haul super excited first grocery haul in my new house it is still kind of echoey because um basically it's just kind of a larger room so hopefully this will be okay and the sound will be all right um but let me show you guys what i got i just ran to the store legit for brown sugar have you guys ever done this i went to the store for brown sugar and i spent uh like $95 so I while I was there I decided to kind of stock basically for like the next couple days well probably more like a week and then I'm gonna do big grocery shopping for everything but you know how it is when you move you like need to do this big grocery shopping but sometimes you're just not I just wasn't prepared so I actually went to Publix too because there's a Publix next to my house and that's like a southern grocery store. It's a little more expensive but I felt like everything was so easy to find and um, so I do really like it. So we'll see how that works out. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications. I'm so excited to share new videos in my new house for you guys and without further ado, let's get to this grocery haul. So as you can tell, I got some kind of random things and I'll tell you kind of what I'm thinking as we go through it. I needed some kitchen towels and I saw these, they were like $4.79 a piece, but I liked the idea that maybe they were a little bit bigger. I was gonna go to Target and look for some towels or TJ Maxx or something like that, but I just found myself needing some right now. So I felt like they weren't a terrible price and I liked how thick they were. I'm, I'm a fan of a thick towel, so that was my only non-grocery thing, so it was like $10. I got some cottage cheese to eat and for a noodle bait casserole, I make the Pioneer Woman noodle bait casserole and it is like a family favorite. Everybody loves it. Okay, I got, I got just this one little thing of almond creamer. I usually get, I actually tried some at Aldi's that I really, really liked. And I don't know if there's all these in my area, so I have to check it out. But I didn't know if I would like this brand or not, so I just wanted to get a small one to try it out. The basil, the Parmesan cheese, and the butter are all for a fettuccine Alfredo recipe. I actually got it from Mandy in the making, and I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And I saw it on a country life. So I think I'm actually gonna film it for you guys because it's such an easy, good recipe. So, oh my goodness, I was really excited about that. And yeah, so we're gonna um, do that. I got some English muffins because I thought those would be really good for breakfasts, things like that. I'm gonna try to make my husband some breakfast um, during the week, so I wanted to grab those. I actually went for brown sugar because we're gonna make some cookies this afternoon, me and my son, and I wanted to get some brown sugar. Uh, I was out of paprika and I actually bought smoked paprika for, it was some kind of recipe and I really, really like the flavor. I just use it like I would use paprika. So I got this little one to put in my big one, basically. Refill it. These I saw on a whim. So I saw the Jiffy brand and they're only like 85 cents, I think, 94 cents. So I like these blueberry muffins. My family isn't a huge fan, but I like them. So I got them. And then this is a golden yellow cake and my mom used to buy these for us when we were kids and let us make them and that's how we kind of learned and started baking and I remember being able maybe at like nine or ten years old being able to do it like by myself and I could make this cake so I thought this would be fun to show my son and kind of nostalgic see what he thinks of it I think this was 94 cents and I got some frosting with it. I actually looked up the recipe while I was in the grocery store. I was gonna make, um, have him make actual frosting, and I just thought, you know what, he's learning. I'm just gonna get this. This is something I wasn't counting on getting, but it looked really good. So I actually got some tenderloins for uh, the fettuccine Alfredo, because when I made it with tenderloins before, kind of how the recipe claims, and it was actually a lot easier to make and cut up and all that stuff. So I got some tenderloins, just a pound of them, and this was like $6, so not the best price, but not terrible. And then I saw these drumettes, and they were, they're basically like wings, and I got two packs of them, so they were like $4.75 a pack, and I got two packs of them, and I was gonna get some 
Frank's Red Hot Sauce to put over them. And then while I was looking for that, I found these. And this is actually a restaurant that's here uh, around Charleston. And I thought, you know what, like, let's try these because it was buy one, get one free, which I love about Publix. They have a lot of deals like that that you can take advantage of. You don't have to be like a rewards member or anything. So this was buy one, get one free. And so this was Sweet Carolina and then Carolina Classic. So I thought, you know what, let's just try those. While I was while I was on that aisle, I actually saw these two marinades and I have some chicken in my refrigerator. And I used to buy this Foster Farms lemon herb chicken that was already marinated when I first first um, was like cooking on my own and I thought maybe this would be comparable to it so I'm gonna try out these marinades I've never tried anything but I, I love the brand Lowry I love their seasonings I always feel like they're really good quality so I'm gonna try both of them out this one is an herb garlic with lemon juice and I just thought I could marinate some chicken breasts and grill them, no big deal. And then this one was Baja Chipotle with lime. And I thought this might be good to put on chicken because then I could um, grill it and we could kind of make burrito bowls or tacos or something like that. They were buy one, get one free as well. Uh, these back here, I really wanted to go down and get a snack of some kind, and then I saw these and I thought, okay, I'm going to get those. They're a little bit healthier, and it'd be better than just getting chips. So I got these honey glazed almonds and these cocoa roasted almonds. I've heard these are really good. I've never tried them, but I have tried these, and they are yummy. These are we, They were two for $6, so they were kind of a little bit of a splurge, so that's okay alfalfa sprouts because I bought some lavash bread the other day and I really wanted to make kind of a wrap and for some reason I was craving alfalfa sprouts like crazy so I got those. Uh, two cucumbers uh, for some salad I got the other day and I forgot to get cucumbers and tomatoes and then I thought this would be really good for um, when we have like uh, tacos or something like that. I uh, got some grapes because the other day I bought some grapes at a store called Lids, I want to say it's called. They were amazing, but I was at Publix, so I just bought some grapes. Got some avocados for my sandwich that I was talking about. Um, and just for in general and all that, I love avocado. Went ahead and got some more milk because we have been really liking this. And the store I was at didn't actually have whole milk, so I reverted back to when I used to buy like 2% milk. And so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. And um, I don't think anybody could tell the difference. I couldn't even tell the difference. So I was like, okay, that works out. So I got two of those. They were actually three for 10, but I couldn't, I didn't really know if that was a good deal or not. And I'm kind of thinking that maybe it was, but I only got two. So that is what I got. So I have a couple different meals planned. So I do have a couple different meals planned. I have that fettuccine alfredo planned. I have that noodle bake planned. Um, I know we can do like tacos of some kind. Um, we could we probably do like burrito bowls of some kind. Um, I wrote it down. Um, we have those, I have those drumettes that we can make for a meal one night. And I have, um, I'm actually gonna make right now, I'm gonna make some, a soup it's like a copycat of Olive Garden soup and I bought this stuff the other day and I haven't made it yet so I wanted to go ahead and make a big pot of that because it's kind of a little bit chilly outside so I am running a little bit late but that's okay and I'm gonna go make my soup and thank you guys for hanging out for coming over for seeing a, another brand new video and I will see you guys for some more cleaning motivation and some more cooking this week bye for now